Hello guys, what do Laravel developers need to learn in 2025 in order to find jobs or create their own projects? I'm currently doing an experiment called Personal Roadmap on Laravel Daily for premium members, asking them what they think they should learn. For example, I'm asking their tech stack, their experience, and ask them to describe the next project they want to create, their career goals, and what they're struggling with. And in this video, I will summarize the answers because I see the pattern. Now, after like 72 people filling in this form, and also I had a private testing, so it's almost 100 people for now, and I see the patterns, what people think they need to learn, and I will summarize it in this video. So we'll talk about three things. What is the typical or desired tech stack in addition to Laravel for a full stack developer? Then we'll discuss the typical projects you would need to build to showcase your knowledge. And finally, what are Laravel topics people are struggling with and you should probably get familiar with as well. And by the way, still 28 spots available for yearly and lifetime members of Laravel Daily and there's currently 40% off while it's Black Friday campaign until December 1st. Now, what are the patterns of tech stack that people currently have or want to learn? And I asked ChatGPT to summarize some of the parts of the answers for me, of course, anonymized. So with ChatGPT, I wanted to check whether my gut feeling from the answers is the same as kind of the numbers suggest. And the first topic that clearly went spot on is that there are two basically tribes in Laravel community, Tallstack fans and JavaScript fans. Maybe fans is the wrong word, but actually what's important and interesting is that what they're using the stack for. And this is the correlation. Tall and filament users, filament was mentioned quite a lot, is the group that are building their own or smaller medium projects prototypes, dashboards. And those who mentioned React or Vue with API or without API with Inertia, their goal is to look for jobs, create complex frontends, which in itself actually gives better chance to land a job. So if you're thinking what to learn, for example, Vue, React, or Livewire for the full stack, it depends on what you want to do. If you want to create your own project fast, then go with Livewire and Filament, especially if you're a backend developer historically. But if you want to get job positions and work on bigger full stack dynamic projects, then choose JavaScript. And the most interesting part is that ChatGPT identified that those two groups are nearly equal. So yeah, this is my first takeaway. The choice of stack is not about stack only, but what you use it for. The second takeaway is about common projects people want to build, whether for themselves or to showcase their knowledge for applying for jobs. And it's still about the same old classic SaaS. And also same old classic multi-tenancy. Those two keywords are still on top, still mentioned. The project ideas may be different like marketplace, job board, CRM, product hunt clone or clone of something else. But basically it comes down to the same things listed here by ChatGPT. Which means if you have practical knowledge covering those items, you're probably powerful enough to create projects with Laravel and full stack and also apply for jobs. So what I would advise is create your own SaaS multi-tenancy, put it on GitHub to showcase your knowledge and move on from there. I'm actually planning to create a typical SaaS with this list of items. And if you want me to add something to that list, let me know in the comments. We can discuss what is the typical SaaS that could showcase the developer skills for Laravel and ecosystem around. And the final takeaway, what people are struggling with and what they want to improve their knowledge in. So queues are always on top. And with queues, it's relatively easy to start with. So like automatically send the email into the queue, especially locally or on smaller project. But imagine the scenario you're applying for a job in a company with existing project handling like thousand of queued jobs every hour or every day. And then the challenge is totally different. I even tweeted recently that almost for any topic, web development or development in general, there are levels like you can learn by reading or watching a tutorial, then you can practice something locally, but this is level one and this is not where you actually learn, in my opinion, fully. The actual learning comes from practical real project deployed on live server or staging server. Ideally, it's your own like SaaS business or something. It doesn't necessarily even have to be successful 
financially, but then you have a feeling of managing real users, real traffic, real data, struggling with real challenges. If you do that in a team, it's even better. This is what the employers need when they say job practical experience in the job descriptions. So yeah, especially with queues, real like learning comes when you're trying to handle thousands of emails in the queue or something like that. Which leads us to the second struggle, deployment. And the word deployment is pretty big, but what I see people struggling with, what they mentioned is about basically getting out of their cave of local server or small projects and work with deploying the project and configuring it with CI, CD and sometimes scaling. So these are the things that you cannot really learn without actually doing that yourself in practice. So even on Laravel daily courses, if we search for queues, there are two separate courses. First course queues in Laravel 12 for like for beginners, how they work, the syntax, the batches, the chains and all of that. And then separate course practical queues on live server, where we talk about Horizon and Redis and other queue drivers and handling fade jobs, which are the things you actually need to deal with on live projects. So yeah, with those queues and deployment, I do emphasize that you need to practice on some live project and this would count as practical experience. I cannot teach you that myself in full. I can show you the path, show you the tutorials, show you the examples, and I will on this channel for upcoming future. But it's still your job to practice and to showcase your skills. And finally, good old classic complex eloquent and data management and big data if it's a big database, advanced relationships, query optimization, that didn't go anywhere either. It's still a trend, but again, it comes to practice. So simulate the situations with complex databases, with millions of records, and then practice the queries, practice caching, practice optimizations. And this is well summarized by ChatGPT. In the end, look for real world production problems. So don't just learn cues. Try to mimic the situation of sending, for example, thousand invoices. Don't just learn eloquent relationships. Try to create a database for e-commerce, for example, with a lot of features and options. So yeah, all in all, it's all about practice. And this is why in that personal roadmap, I sent emails to people emphasizing that what project do you want to create? So my focus is on this question, basically. I push people to decide or sometimes they do have already the project that they will work on. And then along the way, they will learn and practice the skills that they need. So yeah, what do you think about all that summary and takeaways and highlights? Do you agree with the trends? Or what would you add to that list of skills, kind of must-haves in 2025 to get a full-stack developer job for Laravel and its ecosystem or to create your own projects like business, startup project, or just something for your own community? Let's discuss all of that in the comments below. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.